up advanced find and navigate to our custom view. We can click show details and enter an additional filter row to filter on relationship type. We can leave the operators equals and we can click, click this ellipsis next to enter value. Since this is a pick list attribute, we have a set of defined values to choose from here. To fulfill our requirement, we will select vendor. Remember that these criteria are now going to default to an AND search between our phone number group and our relationship type filter. If we want to be more explicit, we can select this group and this row, and we can group them as an AND. If we click Find, we'll see that there is a single vendor in the Orange County area. Now we go back to the query page and click Save As. This will let us make a new view while still retaining our old one that we used for a jumping off point. I'm going to call this vendors in the Orange County area and hit OK. Now we can close this window and refresh the page and uh, we, we can see now we have two views to select from and I'm going to select our new view and it shows the single account. Now that we have the basics of creating views based on filter criteria we can look at some of the additional capabilities of advanced find. First we'll open up advanced find again and navigate to the first view we created. Click Find to inspect these view results. We can see right now that we're only getting returned three columns. Advanced Find allows us um, to add additional columns to a view. To do this we can click Back to Query and then we can click this Edit Columns button up here in the top menu. From this page we can see the current columns that we have in our view and we can add columns to our view. For this view I'm going to add email address as well as the city and state of um, the main address. As well, you can go to any one of these columns, change the order it appears in, and then you can either double click it, or you can click on the column header and click change properties, if you'd like to select a new width for that column. So I'm going to make the uh, email address column a little wider and select 200 pixels. Once I have this looking how I like it, I can hit OK. Now if I hit Find, we can see that it's uh, brought all this into our new view. Now if I go back to my query, I can also, through at the Edit Columns page, control the order in which our records show up. So if I want to, say, change it so my um, view is ordered by a city instead of by name. I can configure sorting and I can select the attribute which I'd like to sort on and I'm going to choose uh, city here. And uh, ascending order says it'll be alphabetical, descending is uh, reverse alphabetical. So now that I've got my sorting set up I can hit find again and I can see the default sort is on city. From this page uh, we have some good options here. We can uh, now 
we can print these records and this will bring up a print preview of the advanced find that we're looking at uh, from here we can print we can export these records to Excel so if we click here this is going to uh, ask us how we'd like to do this and uh, we can we can just export these records just how they are in uh, cells in Excel or you can create a dynamic pivot table which will export these attributes and uh, we'll be able to sync up with that but I'll be covering that in a different uh, instructional we can click uh, this word button and this is going to do a mail merge in word with these records from here we can run reports on these records and this is showing us all reports for the account entity we can highlight any number of these records in this view and we can click this assign button and this allows us to either assign these records to ourselves or assign them to another user in the system we can delete these records we can send an email to all of these accounts if I were to click here we can see this is bringing up a uh, direct email form and we can tell whether we'd like to uh, select a template here and uh, whether we'd like to send the direct email to selected records all records on the current page or all records on all page if it spans multiple pages We can also perform a, cre a quick campaign with these records, and this could be uh, if you wanted to set up a campaign to email these records, you could do that through here. The final functionality that I'll be demonstrating in this video is the sharing capabilities of views. The custom views that I created can by default only be seen by me. Other people in the system will not be able to see these views. If I click back into the advanced find tool, there's this tab called saved views. If I want others in the CRM application to be able to see my views, what I can do is I can click this more actions button and click sharing. This allows me to click this add users to add other people in the CRM system or teams to be able to see my views. So I'm just going to click the search button and bring up all the users. And then I'm going to say I want to allow Brian Tran, Bugs Bunny, and Desigan Ready to see my views. And I'll hit OK. Now what this is saying is all these people have rights to read my views and this is what I want. I don't want others to be able to change my views in any way so for now I'm just going to say read. Uh, I can also say if I want to allow one of these users to reshare my view to someone else and I'm gonna go ahead and let Desigan Ready reshare my view. And what this is gonna do is now when these users log into their system and look at the accounts area they'll also be able to select the views that I, uh, that I shared. This concludes this advanced find instructional video. You should now be good to use advanced find to capture CRM data and manage custom views. Thank you for using XRM.com for your CRM training needs.